Well, hello there, good looking you. Are dazzling as usual, but you probably already know that. Me, you know, uh, this unkempt, this unkempt, really everything unkempt. But you know what? Who, who am I trying to impress, you know? I don't see people anymore. What, what are those things? What a, what a fantasy. Uh, and neither should you. Hopefully you're practicing uh, social distancing, staying at home if that is what you're supposed to do. All those fun activities. And speaking of fun activities, I wanted to give you some things that you could do, which is why the video is called Hot Singles in Your Area. Not that I'm going to give you hot singles in your area to do, because you shouldn't be interacting with people, and also you are probably the hot single in your area. But because it sounded like a fun title, and it was funny to me, but I am going to give you things that you can do, since a lot of us are just stuck at home. Now, on, on Vsauce 3, I did make a dong, things that you can do online now, guys, with a bunch of websites that I enjoy, that I thought were fun, and I wanted to share. So you can check that out, there'll be a link down to that in the description, but I wanted to give you a few more things. Starting with a playlist. Now, if you've, uh, heard my playlist before, I call them jams, which is just awesome music. So I made a new jam for you, there's a Spotify link down there as well, and if you want to recreate the playlist, uh, with YouTube music, or title or whatever music service you use, Amazon, you can do that as well. Just tweet it at me at Jake Rar and I'll add it to the description and credit you because it's very nice of you to do for others that don't have Spotify. And then uh, in addition to that, I also wanted to give you a playlist of videos that I enjoy from creators that I enjoy. Because uh, I always love sharing creators that, that I, I, I watch all the time and I don't really have a great opportunity to do that often. So I wanted to create a playlist of that. There's people like uh, Dead Meat, uh, Isaac Thiel, uh, three blue, one brown, Tibbies, a whole bunch of channels, so you can just have like a nice lean back experience. I won't be there to interrupt the videos to give you context. It's just gonna be a clean lean back. Just you and the content creators hanging out, and hopefully there'll be some new channels that you've never heard of that you'll enjoy, and hopefully there'll be some channels that you have heard of and you'll get to enjoy again. So I'll put all that down there. The last thing I wanted to do was uh, recommend some books to you. And actually, speaking of books, uh, there's a series called BookTube, and it's a it's a wonderful series. It's kind of like a book club, and it's a YouTube original series, so it's free to watch. And every episode is a different author discussing a book, usually their latest book, with a group of avid readers. And I was very fortunate enough to be on an episode that just came out today, I'll link down there, with one of my favorite authors, David Sedaris. David Sedaris is incredible. He's incredibly funny, incredibly insightful, and he has these collections of uh, short essays that he, he writes and then are published. And the latest one, Calypso, came out a few months ago. So I, this episode was filmed a few months ago. But it's really wonderful. And I was so fortunate to meet him because, I, again, I really do appreciate the way that he writes. And I'm not, I don't want to give too much away because also there's going to be a little interview that I did with him on, on this channel soon. But I love that he, he takes these very personal stories and just shares them with anybody and everybody. And we discussed that a little bit because to me, it, it kind of reminds me of what vlogging is, where you share a part of yourself, a part of your life, but it doesn't feel strangely and it doesn't feel like you're giving up part of yourself. It doesn't feel like you're, you're taking something that is completely private, that is meant to be only shared with those that are close to you. It, it's different and it's hard to put into words, but it, it was a very fascinating dynamic that I, I noticed in his work and I wanted to discuss with him. So anyway, Booktube, there'll be a link to the episode that I'm in with David Sedaris. David Sedaris is amazing. I'll link actually down there to some of my favorite books of his on Amazon. Um, and then in the next day or two, I'll have my interview with him up here for you to listen to. But other books that I really like. I talk about her all the time. Mary Roach is one of my favorite science communicators on the planet. Her books are just a joy to read. They'll be about topics that I didn't even know I cared about, like digestion, and that's one of my favorite books ever. Choke, it's called. Or not Choke. Choke is a book by Chuck Palahniuk. Okay, Chuck Palahniuk's book Choke is also very good, but you kind of got to be in a certain mindset to read that one. I actually remember when he wrote it, I went to um, a book tour of his. It was pretty intense. And then uh, I got him to sign the book, which was very exciting. I still have it on my bookshelf. Thank you, Chuck. My favorite Chuck Palahniuk novel, if we're being honest with each other, is probably Lullaby. But let's go back to Mary Roach. Gulp is a fascinating book about human digestion and about just food in general. She has some great facts about chips, like the little crunch that it makes is actually a little sonic boom that happens in your mouth. Anyway, Choke is fantastic. Gah, no, Gulp is fantastic. <laughs> Gulp is really good. If you've never read Dune, uh, would highly recommend it. The movie's coming out soon, maybe, hopefully, who knows, with all the delays. But it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful book. This is a book that I really liked 
my girlfriend recommended it to me and it was called Shucked. And it's this history about oysters in New York. And while it sounds very specific and very niche, I would highly recommend it. It's a beautiful history of the colonization of New York, the industrialization of New York, but told through oysters. Not from their perspective, but how important they were to the growth of New York City and the East Coast as a whole. It's fantastic. Shucked. Would definitely recommend that one. One book that I love, and this is going back in time now, is called The Collector. It's a really fantastic book. Has no relation to the uh, horror movie of the same name. I guess kind of still is collecting. Anyway, it's really fantastic. Man likes to collect, collect butterflies. Also maybe a person. And it's it's really well told. There's kind of a, a dual narrative and it's really lovely. Uh, what else? Oh, also some uh, comics or mangas for you. I've said this before and I'm going to say it again. One of my favorite runs of a comic is The Swamp Thing that was written by Alan Moore in the 80s. It is art. I, it's art. I can't explain it further. It is just philosophical and beautiful. The illustrations are wonderful. The story is so dynamic and human, yet it's talking about something that is categorically not human. One that I, I finally finished after reading over the course of years was uh, I, am, I Am a Hero? I Am the Hero? Forgot the exact title right now, sorry. But I'll link it down there. It's told from the perspective of a, a manga artist in Japan and how he deals with a zombie epidemic. Another one that I really love is called Pluto. Pluto's another manga which is fantastic. One of my most favorite ones ever. Again, I guess I think I just have this thing where I really like stories about the humanity of things that aren't human, right? Like Swamp Thing, Pluto. Similar kind of vein is something that I really appreciate. Maybe it's why I love the Blade Runner series so much. That's really all I got for you. I just wanted to just share things with you that I enjoy um, and hopefully you'll enjoy as well so you have more stuff to do because that is in, important. You know, you got to keep busy, keep your mind working, uh, your body whew, going. If you want to exercise, do that. I say that having not exercised in weeks, and I should. I got to. Got to get fit. I want to, like, next time I come on this camera, I don't swole. Is that the term? Yeah, I just want to be swole. Where I have to use, like, a wide-angle lens just to fit my body in the frame because I'm so ooh, strong. That basically took all of my effort just to flex right there. Any whoosie whatsy. Is there anything else, Jake? No, I mean, I'll do a plug for the Curiosity Box if you're really bored. You can get the latest Curiosity Box delivered to your door. It's got cool stuff, puzzles, t-shirts. Just watch the last video. I literally spoil everything. But uh, you can get the Curiosity Box. That would make myself and Michael and Kevin happy. Michael would probably beat me a lot less if you were to get a curiositybox.com. Anyway, link to everything that I talked about right down there. I'm also just trying to do Twitch streaming more often uh, because I just need things to do. So if you uh, don't know my Twitch, well, it's twitch.tv slash Jake Roper. Again, link down there. I'm going to try and do that. Hold on. Let's just pause. And this is like, picture this. Let's pause for a second. Is this a good idea? What do you think? Let me tell you what the idea is. Because you know, people play video games, all this stuff, and they're good at them. And I'm not particularly good at video games. I mean, some video games. The Sims. But other video games, not as good. I want to do a series where it's just, I've never played. Insert title. Like, I've never played... Don't hate me. I've never played Overwatch. I just haven't. Fortnite. Never played it. Sorry. Uh, so I want to do like a series where it's just me playing games I've never played before and I'm going to be noticeably bad at them. But that's part of the appeal, isn't it? Because then everyone in the comments, or in the comments, whoa, in the chat, come on, we're talking about Twitch, will be like, wow, Jake, do this, do that, or you blow. And I'll be like, yes, I do. And I am fully aware of it. Oh, I'm just kind of rambling. It just feels good to talk out loud to something that isn't my dog. So thank you for that. Very therapeutic. You can send me an invoice for this session. Again, links to everything down below. Uh, that's all I got for you. I love you, I respect you. I hope you're staying safe and that those that you love are also staying safe and that you're doing the best you can given the circumstances we are in. This is not easy for everybody, but we will get through it and uh, it'll be a fun memory to share with our children. Or something. Anyway, remember, it is not goodbye. Oh no. It's never goodbye. It's...